Hi everyone, Happy New Year! At this point of the time, we all are interested to form the resolution, isn't it? So some of you have the resolution to read more books because the books really help to substantially improve uh, our world view, isn't it? So many of uh, my friends have asked me what kind of books do I really recommend to a young audience? And uh, two of my students, Rijwan and Rupesh, asked me in two separate occasions, what are my life-changing books that has substantially helped me to formulate my own world view? So what are my life-changing books? So this is what this video is all about. And these books I can recommend to anyone at any point of the day, you know. So, uh, so what are these books? So I always suggest one of the, my favorite book is Carl Sagan cosmos i grew up reading cosmos and of course it was a tv series and that converted into a book so it is a fantastic book uh, especially for the young readers and also the demon haunted world and the science as a candle in the dark that's the title of carl sagan's another book highly highly recommended it's one of my favorite book then coming some books which are about the spirituality and philosophy the Power of Now, Importance of Focus and Mindfulness is by Eckhart Tolle, fantastic book. Then Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, 2000 years old, Stoic philosopher of Rome. A Guide to Good Life by William Irvine, my all-time favorite book on spirituality. Ryan Holiday's most of his books, I, I every time I can recommend to anyone, please check out his book, including Obstacle is the Way, Ego is the Enemy, and Stillness is the Key. Letters from a Stoic by Seneca is another ancient book, 2000 years old book. Discourses by Epictetus, again a very old book, 2000 years old book, the, the Greek a philosopher Epictetus, the discourses, you know, and including his some other essays too. Walden by Henry David Thoreau, you know, uh, Walden is the name of the pond, and when he went over the pond, the kind of thought that he had, uh, why isolation is extremely important, and mindfulness is a form of meditation. You know, Walden has affected so many, influenced so many politicians, including Mahatma Gandhi. You know, so please check out the world and, uh, and uh, the final book in, in the spirituality, which I recommend strongly is Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. I have read all these books, by the way, many books I have read many times. For instance, A Guide to Good Life and Meditations. I have read many times the Marcus Aurelius, uh, you know, meditations. Now coming to other books, which I recommend. Nassim Nicholas Taleb's book, my favorite author, especially two books, Anti-Fragile and Black Swan, completely transformed my life. You know, the kind of worldview I had before and after is completely changed after reading these two books by Taleb. Bill Bryson's book, especially for the young readers, you know, school students can also read Bill Bryson's book, uh, including a short history of nearly everything again that book has immensely helped me to understand and to make connections between the concepts which i learned in our school days you know so that connection is kind of missing isn't it some people say uh, the concept and facts the connection is what leads to wisdom so books like this help me to formulate my own wisdom you know so that's a big tremendous influence on me Stephen J. Gould is another of my favorite authors. All his books I can recommend to anyone to read it, including, you know, including The Richness of Life, the collected essays of him. And ever since Darwin, another masterly prose of Stephen J. Gould, I recommend to anyone to read it. Robert Greene is another of my favorite author. Uh, Robert Greene's book, especially The Laws of Human Nature, and 48 Laws of Power, strongly, strongly recommended. Please check out these two books too. Another of my favorite author is Richard Dawkins. All his books I can recommend to anyone, 
especially the selfish gene and the God delusion. The God delusion and the selfish gene. Check it out. Some books from psychology also make into this list. Influence Psychology of Persuasion by Robert Cialdini. The new and updated version has released uh, last year, 2021, uh, uh, early 22, basically the end of 21. Check it out. You know, this is a fantastic book, Influence the Psychology of Persuasion. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie, one of my all-time favorite book. You know, it's kind of a, like a self-help, but it's more like a psychology. Fantastic book. Very well reviewed in Goodreader. The Happiness Project by Gretchen Rubin. The Happiness Project. Highly recommended. Fantastic book. You know, of course, I'm also a big fan of her. Gretchen Rubin has a podcast. I, I keep on listening to that podcast too. And finally, The Charisma Myth by Olivia Fox. The Charisma Myth. Highly recommended. Please check out that book. Next is the Yuval Noel Harari's uh, or, or, or books of Yuval Noah Harari, including Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind, Homo Deus, and 21 Lessons for 21st Century. All his books I really love. And all these books are, you know, uh, life-changing Believe me, all these books are life-changing, especially the Sapiens, the first book, which became uber popular. Coming next is the self-help books, which I really like. The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. Highly recommended, fantastic book. You know, Atomic Habits by James Clear, another of my all-time favorite self-help book. Think Again by Adam Grant. It's a new book, released only last year. My favorite book, one of my favorite books, Think Again, fantastic. And also I follow Adam Grant's podcast, you know, uh, Work Ethics, isn't it? Then an old book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. Uh, you know, Stephen Covey is also an avid cyclist. Unfortunately, he also died in a cycle mishap. You know, so Kobe is my favorite author. Of course, he has written many such books, uh, the Eight Habit or so. You know, you can check out his books, especially the Seven Habits. And finally, Tiny Habits by B. J. Fogg, another of my favorite self-help book. It's a fantastic book. Check it out. Personal finance books. If I want to recommend only one book, which would be The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel. Again, it's a new book. Fantastic book. It's all about the psychology of money. You know, it's not about, uh, I mean, the behavior, right? Behavioral economics is all about psychology. It's not all these fields mix up. And for investments, The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. Another of my favorite book. And of course, there are so many other books I can suggest you. These books are something which I really want to recommend to everyone to read it. And if you are looking for like an inspiration or what to, what to read for the new year, uh, you know, choose among these books. These are like the top-notch book and which completely transformed my life. Uh, of course, many other books which I completely missed out, for instance, this is one of my all-time favorite books. You know, it, it played a major role in transforming my life too. This is by Karl Popper, the British philosopher of science, the logic of scientific discovery. And this is a, a, a one of the, the my favorite book. Another favorite book is this one. Uh, this is by Thomas Kuhn. Uh, it's a British, uh, it's an American philosopher of science, the structure of scientific revolutions. Another of my all time favorite book, but I didn't say that in this list. The reason is that the list is more or less uh, targeted for a general audience, not really specific. These are kind of a uh, um, philosophy heavy book. Readability in, would be kind of less, but all these books which I recommended is highly accessible even for uh, a teenage uh, a person, you know, in the teenage years. No problem at all. Fine. 
and uh, of course this list is not the final list of i keep on updating this list i also linked up as uh, shown uh, this is a blog post in my blog and with the you know the hyperlinks you can directly buy uh, these books from the amazon in your home country uh, yeah so this is like a distilled version i keep on updating this blog uh, as and when i read a new book so you know if you are if you really want to do yourself to to search a new book so uh, or you pick up from this list before starting a book my some some of my tips include look uh, its review read its review in goodreads not not amazon amazon reviews are not at all trustworthy a fake spot i covered in this channel that's a chrome or firefox add-on that can use the ai uh, you know AI algorithm to spot the fake reviews in Amazon you know look good reads you know so the reviews in good reads are highly trustworthy so look at their star rating usually my cutoff is around four stars so above four star it's worth my time you know it's a big commitment to read a big book you know it takes a lot of my time so and there are millions of books to read yeah which you cannot complete in your life's lifetime right so you need to prioritize which book so look in the, the good read i also check it out their review rating and uh, as another tip is that to, to listen to the author's interview for instance you will harare's book so before committing to read his sapiens check out his interviews in youtube all these fa you know famous authors for instance taleb nicholas taleb so many interviews are there with the taleb you know and uh, yes uh, james clear for instance Check out the interviews, you know, uh, Intelligence Squared or Google Talk feature uh, these interviews with famous authors, okay? So, first listen to that interview and if you find still interested, then check out that book. And before even committing the full book, there's another step which I can suggest you. Read the book summaries. Just Google or you can use uh, Bing, right? Uh, and in, you can search out that book and read the summary of the book. Uh, one of my favorite summary uh, tool is called Blinkist. Of course, it costs money, it needs subscription, but Blinkist does a very professional uh, option, uh, you know, uh, to summarize this non-fiction book in a very accessible format. So, before concluding this uh, video, I would like to uh, name a few rotten books, especially a rotten self-help book, which I hated though it is super popular all these books are super popular books but no not at all good and advisors are really bad and dangerous too the first uh, position in that list is the secret by Rhonda Byrne so yeah secret is all about power of positive uh, affirmation like if I want to become rich all I need to do is to write I'm a millionaire a million dollars everywhere in my room and then I keep on looking at that and then making myself believe in this fake narration that I'm a millionaire. Then dollars will come to my life like magic. Come on. No, I will not buy that argument. Secret is never my favorite book. Next book is Chicken Soup for the Soul. Oh, I hated that book. It's not my style. The Monk Who Saw His Ferrari. Another such nonsense self-help book you know quantum healing it's dangerous practice by the way the quantum healing is 100 percentage zero science okay the power of positive thinking by norman vincent paul again it's completely nonsense you know the argument doesn't make any cohesive stance it doesn't have any uh, good argumentative skill the author lacks it and even uh this book is highly affected by cognitive biases and logical flaws so that makes the entire book highly you know render useless okay so this is uh, the, the uh, some of the books which i hated of course there are you know there are basically swear books too you know so you might uh, remember some many of these books for example how to unfuck yourself or i used to be a miserable fuck or the subtle art of not giving a f or f feelings you know all these books no 
not in myself. I don't have my time and energy to spare my precious time for reading these crap books. Do you have any favorite book that has completely transformed the way that you you look your life that changed your uh, you know your world view use a comment section below of this video and please comment your uh, you know favorite books thanks for watching and uh, my best wishes for a happy and productive new year goodbye